Let's get back to exercise five, build one, and take a look at what our planet looks like now that we're uh, beginning to add our images. Now, keep in mind that previous um, a previous video when we had uh, Illustrator and Photoshop, and we were talking about PNG eight um, alpha channels. Okay, and some tips on making sure that you have a nice clean edge or as clean as we can get with a PNG 8. Okay, so using Illustrator to create your uh, artwork, you could, you could use Photoshop, but um, I, I think creating vector artwork in Illustrator is easier. And then I tend to always take my artwork from Illustrator into Photoshop and then clean it up as a and work with it and export it as a as a raster graphic okay that's just how i tend to work all right so let's go back and now take a look at our css so pretty much everything is going to be the same as um, when we were adding our structure and our css styles you will notice that I've added overflow hidden. And this way, when we move those planets around to those three corners and they're absolutely positioned, they'll get cropped. We won't see what is on the outside of the container. And then I've increased the size of my border because I just think it looks better. And I've added some opacity to the color. And then I've added a border radius because again, I just like that, that rounded corners, I just think look, look nicer, okay? So let's go down, header should be the same, main rocket, lyrics, footer, and now you'll see on our planets that I'm going, I'm going ahead and sort of fine tuning the, the top, the left, the uh, top, the right, posi you know, the positions for these planets. And then you'll see that we've moved, um, or we may have, uh, we may have adjusted the widths, and that I'm also targeting the image in uh, inside each of the divs. So you'll notice if we go over and let's find planets, we have a div, okay, and inside the div is our image. All right, okay, and. What we're doing is we're targeting the image inside. We're telling the image to be 100% of its parent. So whatever I'm setting the width and the height to, that image will become that width and height. Now, this is usually fine if we're going to scale things down. If you start scaling your images up, especially if you have alpha channels, you're probably going to get sort of fuzzy edges. So be careful about uh, increasing the size of your images. If you need your image larger, go back to your uh, editing program and create a larger image. That's that's the better thing to do. Okay. All right. So you'll also notice I'm adding a new property here. I don't know if we've worked with this yet, but I'm adding the transform property. And what we're going to do is we're going to rotate our planet. And I'm doing this is because as I mentioned here, I wanted to see the light area, okay? So if I were to go back, um, Photoshop, you see this light area right here? Well, I wanna see that, but this image is getting cropped off. So this part, this part out here is getting cropped off from the container. So I could go back to my artwork and I could rotate my image and I can bring it back in, but it's just a whole lot easier to use transform rotate and then I'm going to rotate this uh, I figured it out to be a hundred degrees okay and planet two okay you know, I've gone ahead and positioned that absolutely position I figured out my top and my right the width and the height I'm going to use I still have borders on these we'll get rid of the borders uh, at one point and again, we're going to target the image with 100%, and I'm going to rotate this because I wanted to see the bottom shadow. And then planet three, same, same, absolute, right, bottom. We're setting our width, our height, and transform, rotate, again, because I wanted to see the bottom 
shadow, okay? All right, so we'll go ahead and just save, just to be on the safe side, and let's take a look at what we have so far. So I'm gonna zoom out, and you'll see our container, and our container has our three uh, absolutely positioned planets inside. 